As Theo said, my name is Sarah Dixon. I attend Colorado College, um, and I'm a rising senior. This summer, I worked with Yong Wei on the creation of high-resolution probabilistic tsunami design zone maps that are compatible with AC7 guidelines um, for high-risk coastal communities in Maui, Hawaii. And just for reference, AC stands for the American Society of Civil Engineers. What basically all that means is that I created these high-resolution maps that were showing the possible extent of flooding for tsunamis if a tsunami, in the event of like kind of the worst-case scenario or the most probable tsunami that would happen. And down below in that big picture, that's showing the current 2016 maps, which are going to be out of date once the year 2022 happens. These are kind of the older maps and what they look like. So the maps that I created for Kahului, which is up in this little area, and McKenna, which is down here, um, we'll be replacing those areas on the official maps. The products that I created are a run-up line, three-foot flow depth line, polygons that show the, show the flooding area, wet first dry zone maps, and that little photo below will be in my poster, um, so you can take a closer look, but that just kind of explains my products, and the methods that I use to get the data to create these maps are the non-hydrostatic NeoWave model results, which are all based on the probabilistic tsunami hazard assessment method. I also used high quality digital elevation models to create some of my maps. And all of the map products were created in ArcGIS Pro, the most recent um, model, or most recent like uh, development of it. Some questions that you can ask me once you come up to my poster, these all make sense once you come up to my poster also, are why were the older map maps used at a lower resolution? Why was the non-hydrostatic new wave model used to create the maps over other models that we could have used? And what are other uses and studies that we, these maps can be used for?